Hello, everybody. Welcome to the call today. I'm going to keep this short, um, but I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about phone script and, um, you know, the importance of the phone, right? So um, a lot of us are, you know, um, familiar with the business, we've been doing it for a long time, or some of us have um, just started doing the business, right? Regardless of where you are, um, I can definitely say that um, everyone usually has like a love-hate relationship um, with the phone, right? Um, but unfortunately, that is one of the main, um, you know, things that we need to optimize in the business um, so that we can see um, success, right? Because, you know, most of the time, it doesn't matter where you are, or what you're doing, if you're doing, you know, um, in the field, or if you're on the phone doing telesales, or if you're doing Zoom, you have to have um, you know, phone time, right? And so, you know, many people have indicated, you know, this business is about 80% on the phone, okay? So what that means is that, you know, you are going to have to learn to love the phone, okay? Um, even with me, like, I know that, um, you know, for, you know, many years, um, you know, I've had that love-hate relationship, and I still do. I, um, it takes me, you know, time to get on the phone. Um, there's been periods during my career where I've just jumped on the phone and I've been like, this is great. I'm just going to, cause the main thing is that you have to understand it is the phone. That's the only thing that's going to get you to be successful. There's no other way. Um, you know, you can send text messages, emails, do whatever, but, you know, literally getting on the phone and making those dials and calling somebody, you have a higher rate of success that you're going to be able to uh, transfer, you know, one of your um, leads or your families into a actual appointment so that you can actually really help them. Okay. So, um, I hope that makes sense. Okay. So, you know, just so you guys know, I do as well struggle with the phones. Um, I just, you know, some days just don't want to do the phones, you know, but I know that I have to. So I just kind of, you know, just, just take it for what it is. And then I just, um, you know, continue on with my day with, you know, just picking up the phone after that first time, that first initial call that you pick up, um, it becomes a lot easier. It's like, a you know, learned, um, I don't know, habit, right? Like you just, you know, you feel more comfortable and confident after you do the initial activity, but you know, the more you put it off, the uh, more, you know, negativity that builds up inside your mind. And then, then you um, decide that, you know, uh, it's, you're not even going to get on the phones, right? And they'll, oh, I'll do this tomorrow, but you don't want to do that. You want to literally do it on the days that you need the activity so that you can see the success. Okay. So when it comes to the phone scripts, you know, there are many different types of leads that are available, right? And each of us are doing our own, um, whatever we uh, get our hands on, you know, because helping a family, it doesn't matter. There's no, you know, success um, lead, like this leads, it's going to be the best. Every time this person picks up, we're going to book the appointment. That never happens. So anybody that has ever told you that, you know, oh, you know, it's a hundred percent guarantee whenever you call these people that they're going to book with you. Um, they're not telling you the truth. Okay. And you want to realize that everybody, every agent has, um, the same, same, um, kind of, um, objections, difficulties, things like that. When it comes to the phone, it doesn't matter what kind of lead it is. You could be doing final expense, mortgage, just traditional life insurance. Um, you're going to have people that are going to, you know, sometimes be mean to you. Um, you know, they'll give you tons of objections. Oh, I never did that. I mean, that's just common, you know? Um, and I know for my aspect as well, whenever I'm doing, um, you know, somebody picks like there's, a, you know, the spam, you know, thank goodness we have, you know, our cell phones these days and they kind of like, um, you know, say spam. And so you don't have to really pick up the phone. Um, but, you know, I mean, it, it's just part of, you know, life. So you have to kind of put yourself into the um, person that you're calling families um, shoes, right? How do you feel whenever you have somebody call that you don't know, you know, what kind of communication gets your attention and what kind of communication makes you just want to hang up the phone, right? Because that's another thing that you have to understand when you're doing your phones um, is, you know, what kind of tone are you using? How are you projecting yourself through the phone? Are you smiling whenever you're calling the people or are you kind of like, you know, just being 
negative. This person is not going to even book with me, things like that. I mean, they can kind of see that it projects through your voice, even though you're not um, saying it or projects through your voice, even though you're not, they can't see you, um, they can kind of maybe feel, feel your energies and your tensions or, you know, your, your confidence, things like that. Okay. The one thing that's great about the phone is they can't see you, right? They have no idea what you look like. They have no idea what your facial expressions is. Um, you are on the other end and if you get hung up on, or if they treat you in a negative way, you just kind of move on. That person's never even seen you. They don't know who you are. And basically you just move on to the next, right? So, you know, those are some of the things that, you know, are very helpful. You know, of course, objection, um, counteracting is also very important, um, but that basically really just comes with your ability to uh, exert confidence in what you're doing, right? So, you know, you can study all of the objections. Um, those are always uh, located for you on, you know, websites, or you've heard tons of other people that have done a phone script seminar um, session, and they will kind of go through, you know, some of the objections, and then somebody will role play with them. It, it's the standard ones. One of the most um, objections that people get is I didn't do this, right? Um, you know, and one of the things that we have learned is, you know, you just agree with them. Oh, perfect. You know, okay, Miss Betty, do you know somebody that would have done that for you? Um, and you just come back at Adam like, okay, you know, um, totally understand. But unfortunately, we have got this request in for you. And I'm just trying to, you know, do my part, um, you know, as the, the representative that's been assigned to you to make sure we figure out who did this and, you know, making sure that you get your information. And sometimes just, you know, kind of like acknowledging instead of counteracting it with, you know, negativity, they kind of warm up a little bit, right? Because now they're like, okay, well, if I didn't do it, or even if I did do it, um, you know, like what is, um, you know, what, what do you have, you know, cause sometimes people, they know that they filled it out, but they don't want to, um, admit it, you know, maybe they filled it out and they've had several people call and then they just really haven't warmed up to the people that have been calling or they haven't liked what they've heard, you know, it, you never know. So, like I said, in the beginning, put yourself into somebody else's, um, you know, shoes of how they, how you would feel and how you would, uh, what would make you engage with somebody on the phone if they called you, obviously not a telemarketing, um, you know, or the way that they coldly um, introduce themselves or, you know, anything like that, that doesn't really get the attention of those people that you, the families that you're calling. It, it just doesn't. Right. So, you know, another thing, uh, when I first started, you know, I literally would have my phone script in front of me. Okay. So phone script is just really something that somebody else has used right previously, and it gives you a format. Okay. So what is a format? It's just, you know, like a template, right? You know, so sometimes whenever you're doing something on your computer, email, something that's, you know, you, you get a template, right? And that's really what a phone script is. And there's many different ones that are available per whatever lead you have, okay? Now, is it up to you to kind of customize it or to make it feel um, as personal as possible? Yeah, if you, you don't wanna do that right now and you're just kind of reading off it, realize that you may sound a little robotic and that you might wanna warm it up a little, right? You may wanna say or inject some of the things that you know your personality or that, you would, that would help you if you were being um, called and you heard yourself, right? So, you know, I, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of, you know, at least having something when you first start to kind of review as time goes on. Yeah, absolutely. You know, maybe you won't need it, you know, but I mean, a lot of people, they really just feel more confident and more comfortable when they have something there. So if they start to wonder or they get off track, it helps to keep you back on track. So that way you're able to, um, you know, kind of go through what you're needing to do and get the appointments. And then the, the thing that can happen as you're doing your dials is, you know, you can become more confident, you can realize what you said, and it's just all about time. I know a lot of agents, um, you know, that are new, they're like, okay, 
what do I need? What do I, I have to do this? I have to do that. Um, you know, I have to learn this. I have to do that. I can't get on the phone. I don't want this person to think that, you know, I'm not perfect at my job. Well, you, you never are expected to be perfect. There's nobody that's perfect at anything they do. You just have to be good enough, good enough, just be good enough. Right. Um, so what that means is, you know, just have the right intentions on how you are, um, trying to communicate with your families, right? Meaning, you know, our, your intention is to make sure that you're getting the information for them and that you are trying, even if you don't have all the answers, you're trying to answer the questions the best that you can and be very transparent with them. Um, you know, Miss Betty, I, you know, right now, I really don't know. I'm going to make sure that I find that out for you. Um, but, you know, in the meantime, let's get this set up so that I can at least, you know, get, get the information that you asked for, and then we can go from there. Um, if you're doing, you know, telesales, you know, transition the best you can into setting up a time on the phone or asking them if they have that time to go over everything right now. But in order to get to that point, you have to, um, you know, have an understanding, a, a warmth to you to um, assure that, you know, they, they are, um, you know, kind of understanding where you're coming from and they feel comfortable transcending into the next aspect of your phone call. Same thing with the Zoom, you know, if you're setting up a Zoom, you know, uh, Miss Betty, you know, I'm just really calling today to make sure that um, we're able to provide you with this information that you have requested. I have um, some time available to do a Zoom. Um, do you have an email address or do you have a computer that you can use? Um, that stuff's also going to make a big difference on how you, you set up an appointment. Somebody that's older and they don't have the ability to get on their, you know, their Zoom, maybe they, they just don't care to do it. I mean, you'll find a lot of people in the older community, they just, they don't care. They don't want to be bothered with it. They, they don't mind the phone call, you know, and if they don't want to do that phone call right away, you can always say, hey, let's do this at a, at a different time. Is this a good time to call you? Let's set up a time. Um, same thing when you're going into the field, you know, one of the things when you're going into the field is you want to um, try to make sure that they understand the reason why you're coming out. A lot of times whenever, um, you know, you're going into the home arena, it's like, well, you know, um, we just have to come out and go over everything. It's easiest this way because then we can identify everything that we need to and make sure we get you the accurate information. Um, let's set up a time. What time is good for you on either, you know, you give them the choice of the two days um, and then you give them a time frame, and then you just let them know that you're going to be coming out and you're going to be helping them with this information that they have requested. So, you know, another thing that I do that's, um, you know, very helpful is I'll, I'll send them out a text message, letting them know their appointment time. Hey, you know, um, Miss Betty, we have you scheduled for, you know, this time at this time, well, this day at this time, and then, you know, what it's for. This is for your, you know, final expense information that you had requested. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes. Looking forward to seeing you at that time. That way that they know, like, you're going to be seeing them. If maybe somewhere in the, in the conversation, they ended up, um, you know, not understanding um, that you were coming over, at least you can uh, put that in the text message, okay? Um, and then from there, you know, if they decide they want to respond to you, you then you can make that choice on how you're going to respond back to them. You know, obviously if somebody, you know, they cancel you, you know, that's the reason why you want to have a lot of people to see and talk to. So, you know, here at Family First Life, I mean, you, you guys see how many different um, agents are setting up a lot of appointments. Why is that? Because they're not attached to the four appointments that they've set and, you know, completely bummed out if those four appointments don't don't pan out, meaning like that, that person no showed them, maybe it was a one legger, um, you know, things like that, because they have more appointments to go to. So obviously, the more people somebody has to see, the more chances they have of being successful and in increasing their income. Now that all goes back to the activity, right? So you want to make sure that you're properly doing the activity that you need to be doing to ensure your income goals. 
Okay. So, you know, um, there's tons of phone scripts that are available. Find something that you identify with that is relatable for you. If you need to have it setting next to you, don't feel bad. You can do that. Okay. It gives you a little bit more confidence and a reference point to refer back to as time goes on. Like I indicated before, then you can kind of pull back away from it, or you can interject some things in there that are, make it more personable. So you feel more comfortable, but whenever you first start, you're not, um, you know, expected to just, you know, go at it and not have any um, kind of um, template to follow. Okay. Cause you want to do that. Now, if you're coming from a different company or you've had experience on the phone, regardless of what it is, then you may have an understanding of the phone, you know, aspect and the phone script and your tone and your tonality, things like that. Just implement that. That's, it's going to be no different here. Okay, so I hope this helps. Um, I just wanted to kind of briefly go over um, some of the stuff with the phone script, um, you know, and how to properly, you know, adhere to it and what is the best uh, for you. Sorry about my dog. <laughs> but um, I hope everybody has a fantastic week and I'll talk with you guys again very soon. Okay. All right. Bye.